Hello, this is Steve from Moy Marine. In this video, we will be reviewing the three different types or designs of Zenith carburetors that were offered stock with the Atomic 4 engine. These include the early model carburetor, the late model 4 bolt carburetor, and the late model 5 bolt carburetor. Any of these Zenith carburetors may be used on either early or late model Atomic 4 engines. Let's look at the three different types of carburetors and how you can identify them. You will need to know which vintage you have when ordering gaskets or rebuild kits, since the internal parts are not interchangeable between early and late model carburetors. There really are no useful distinctions between late model carburetors based on the name that is stamped on the housing. During much of the 1970s, you could see the Bendix brand stamped on one side of a carburetor housing and Zenith on the other. From the late 1970s to the present, however, only the name Zenith appears on the carburetor housing. First, let's take a look at the early model carburetor offered until the late 1960s. The first indicator that you have an early model carburetor is that the upper and lower housings were made of cast iron. The use of a magnet will help confirm this. If your housing is magnetic, it's an early model. Adjustable main jets were standard on early model carburetors. They were adjusted by a small T-handle which extended out of the bottom of the carburetor at a downward angle. If you see an angled adjustable main jet, you have an early model carburetor. Scavenge tubes were internal, not visible from the outside of the carburetor. This means there will be no scavenge tube mounted here, coming off the bottom of an early model carburetor, as there is with a late model carburetor. Instead, you will just see a 1 8 inch steel plug. Upper and lower housings are joined by four small screwdriver slotted bolts. Seeing these bolts from the top of the carburetor can be difficult. You may only see threaded holes or a tiny bit of bolt thread showing. You may need to use a mirror to see the heads of the bolts on the underside of the carburetor. If your carburetor has all these characteristics, you have an early model carburetor. Next, let's look at the late model 4 bolt carburetor, offered until the late 1970s. The upper and lower housings are made of aluminum and are held together by four small screwdriver slotted bolts. While there is a small appendage or tongue at the front of the carburetor, there is no bolt there. Fixed main jets are standard on late model carburetors. This means you will not see a T-handle on a stock late model carburetor. Just a plug. However, an adjustable main jet can be added later on as a modification. In these cases, the T-handle will extend out of the bottom of the carburetor horizontal with the bottom of the bowl rather than a downward angle, as in an early model carburetor. Finally, you should see a scavenge tube traveling from the bottom of the intake throat up to the intake manifold on both late model carburetor types. If your carburetor has these characteristics, you have a late model 4-bolt carburetor. Lastly, let's look at late model 5 bolt carburetors, offered from the late 1970s to the present. Other than having a fifth attaching bolt here in the front of the carburetor throat, late model 5 bolt carburetors are essentially identical to late model 4 bolt carburetors. In terms of identifying your carburetor vintage, seeing this fifth bolt is all you really need. If you see it, you have a late model 5 bolt carburetor. As a side note, if you currently have a late model 4 bolt carburetor, 
and want to upgrade and install a new late model 5 volt carburetor, you may do so without any adapters or modifications. As mentioned previously, both styles of late model carburetors, the 4 volt and the 5 volt, may be used on early model atomic 4 engines, as long as you have completed the following two modifications. First, to account for the slight difference between the early model and late model carburetor intake throat diameters, a flame arrestor adapter ring will be necessary for your early model flame arrestor housing to fit your late model carburetor. Just as a matter of interest, the actual flame arrestor element or screen is interchangeable and will fit both early model and late model flame arrestor housings. Secondly, as stated earlier, late model carburetors use an external scavenge tube from the bottom of the intake throat to a 1 8 NPT female pipe threaded hole in the side of the intake manifold, located here just aft of the carburetor attaching flange. Early model intake manifolds will not have this hole so you will need to mount a carburetor flange kit here between the carburetor flange and the manifold. This flange is equipped with a threaded port which allows connecting the top of the scavenge tube. In this example we chose to run the scavenge tube behind and to the right of the carburetor, connecting it in the rear of the flange. This routing will avoid any conflicts with operation of the throttle arm. Since the flange has two 1 8 inch threaded ports, you will need to plug the unused port with the provided brass plug. Thank you for your time. You can find new carburetors, gaskets, rebuild kits, and modification kits for both early model and late model carburetors on our website at moymarine.com.